guys, Cyanide here. Uh, I was looking at a picture of the dual uh, tractor unit the other day and I was thinking about the, the bumper on it. And uh, when I was looking at Fat Betty before, I remembered that I'd made this bumper removable. It's, it's got a, gap, uh, a seam here and here. And um, I'd made it removable so that I could take off this bumper and put uh, attachments on the front that powered by the PTO which I haven't done to this day but uh, I can remove this style of bumper and fabricate another bumper that looks more like the bumper in the dual movie and um, also do this grill maybe I'm not sure if I'll do that in this video today I'm more interested in doing the bumper and um, trying to fit it to this all right, let's get at it. Just having a cup of coffee and thinking about this um, I was all excited to get it welded on but I've realized that what I'm doing is I'm uh, placing this bumper to match this grill and I'm gonna replace well not replace I'm gonna add a whole different grill on the front of this which could change the shape or the weight of the, the grill which may affect where this goes so I'm gonna stop there with this and I'm gonna make a grill to go in here that looks more like the Peterbilt first and then mount that. Righto, so yeah, how to do that. So you can see here that I've uh, gone ahead and built 
the uh, radiator shroud for the uh, truck. Uh, the way I went about doing this was at the end of the last uh, clip I pretty much <clears throat> went straight to the computer and made a basic uh, pattern in uh, the software and then I uh, milled that out on the uh, CNC machine um, milled out a bunch of uh, shapes out of 17 mil ply or 18 mil ply then um, bolted those together to make a really rough uh, kind of uh, jig and put it in the press and press this metal you can see here it's okay and around the top there, there was a lot of deformation, so I went at it with the um, the hammer and the bits and pieces of metal that I use for dollies, uh, and also the shrinker stretcher across the top here to take away some of the um, extra meat. So what's next on this is um, I need to do quite a bit actually. I need to I need to cut out the the hole here fold some bits, oh, before I do that I'm going to drill a bunch of holes here, make some tabs out of this sheet and then cut it and fold it back inside so I've got something to hang the um, little horizontal bits of sheet on the side I've got to um, cut that well mark it out and uh, cut off the surplus metal off the back of this and then it will uh, be able to sit over there a bit better. Uh, what you also noticed is that I've taken the PTO off. I wanted to avoid it, but I had to take it off to get out of the way. So that's just sitting over there, the old um, PTO. <coughs> this allows me to get this down to here, which because this, this grill here is kind of a, a short, stumpy one. So by putting this here, I can lengthen the grill the, to the chassis as well. Because the, the Peterbilt has more of a long, skinny nose deal going on. It won't be as, as the same, but it'll, it'll make a difference. So <clears throat> I'll be able to screw it on with the uh, little screws there that I use for uh, the bearing housing for the PTO. And also on the side, I've got two little uh, M3s here that hold on these side panels for the engine covers. So I should be able to tab back here and, and down there. And that'll be enough to hold this little uh, grill on for while I'm using it for this video. And um, yeah, once I've got that attached, then I can go back to mounting the... Um, the bumper which will be below the chassis um, Fat Betty's standard bumper that slips into here you can see there it just slides in goes back um, with with the uh, bumper that's outside um, getting rained on currently to help it rust up this bumper will be lower it'll be a bit lower down to here uh, there will be a gap between these um, front guards here and the bumper that the original truck doesn't have but I'm hoping to cover that gap um, along here with the number plates that the truck had so yeah <clears throat> yeah so it's coming along I did a couple of these I was experimenting I did one in a thinner sheet and then I did this in this 0.6 mil sheet and it feared a bit better and I may make another one just because I can um, I want to experiment with these corners where it uh, wrinkles up the most I think I might try one because I'm gonna have to put some weld in here to cover up this and then knock it back so I might do another one where I actually just cut it with the um, the disc relief cuts in there and I think it will go a bit nicer uh, but I don't mind that that's kind of a wee bit skittish and a bit off and dented and that sort of thing. If I make it too nice it won't match this truck that's for sure. Because there ain't a straight or symmetrical part on this thing. It's um, Everything's feared up by eye on this so yeah.
Okay, I think I'm going to get out to the workshop and um, I'll either make another one of these or I'll just start working on this one, um, cutting this one out. I haven't decided yet. You'll know when I know. <laughs>